Hey guys, welcome back to the Duplicolor Garage. My name is Brian. I'm Sophia. And we're continuing work on the 71 Honda CB350. So in the previous episode, we took this thing completely apart. The wheels are off, fenders, seat, tank, and Phil did a little after hours wrenching to remove some of the lighting and he also removed the carburetors. So now we're really at a good point of taking care of repainting the engine and the frame, but there is a lot going on before we do that. Now we do have to do some prep work because there's a lot of grease and grime. Like you said, Brian, there's a lot of grease and grime. I'm seeing a lot on this engine bay right here. What are like the next steps and products we'll be using? Uh, we have a combination of a solvent borne uh, prep spray and a waterborne prep spray. So that's what we'll use to get this thing good and clean and get it prepped for paint. So wanna wheel it outside and get cleaning? Yeah, let's start. All right, let's do it. All right, so we have the bike up on the table from the stand because we wanted it just more at an easy level to work here. Uh, finished cleaning it. We removed a few more components just to access the, uh, the engine a little easier. We're leaving the engine in the bike frame just because I think it would be a little bit more difficult to uh, continue taking this thing apart since we already have a lot going on right now. So we're, what we're doing now is sanding all the oxidized aluminum um, so with that, though, I have a question. Yep. There's a lot of loose paint kind of around the engine still. What would we do with that? So you're going to take the emery cloth that you have there, get rid of a lot of that loose paint because that is going to come right off when we paint on top okay. of that. So we want to make sure that that's good and clean. Once we're done sanding everything, we'll go ahead, wipe it down one last time with our uh, solvent prep spray. We'll mask everything off and then we'll start painting the engine. All right, we have the bike ready to paint, at least the engine ready to paint. We did a ton of sanding on it. All the oxidation is gone. We degreased everything with the solvent prep spray. And uh, Sophia is now wiping things down one final time with the multi-purpose foaming prep. This is our waterborne prep. It'll give everything just one final cleaning. We'll go ahead and mask things off, get the engine primed and then painted. All right, so we are in a spot now where we're gonna start laying down the, uh, the paint on the engine. Sophia, real nice work with getting this all prepped up. Thank uh, you. She went ahead and sanded a lot of the aluminum here with the emery cloth. That gave us that mechanical adhesion for the primer to adhere to, and then we're gonna go over top of that with the uh, engine paint. So quick question, why are we using this specific primer and do we need a primer at all? Yeah, definitely need a primer for this, especially being aluminum. Uh, we want that primer to bite to the aluminum we're using the engine primer due to the high temperature, the high heat okay. uh, capabilities, the 500 degree uh, temperature rating on that, just to match the uh, temperature rating of the engine paint as well. So about ready to go. We're actually not gonna clear coat the engine. Uh, we're just gonna stick with the satin black because that's the theme that we're going with with this bike. So uh, we'll do two coats of the uh, primer. We'll let that dry about 20 minutes between coats and then I'll hit it with the black. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove our foil masking job. Normally, you can allow the paint to dry about an hour or so to handle, but this has been dry for a good couple of days now because we've been working on other areas of the bike. So we're free to start tearing away at this and see what it all looks like. So one final thing we're going to do with our engine is we're going to sand very lightly on the cooling fins just to kind of bring out the silver and contrast the black. This way we kind of give the bike a cool vintage look. All right, we have the bike all unwrapped and man, this 
engine turned out awesome. I mean, the prep work, there's a lot of it, but it paid off, right? Oh, for sure. There was definitely a lot of prep work that we did, but look at the end result. It was great. Yeah. And I mean, this is your first time really tackling a job like this and painting as well. What would you think? I think there is a lot of tedious work that goes into this, but I definitely have more appreciation for those that take on tasks and projects like this for sure. Yeah. I mean, super time consuming, but it's all going to pay off in the, in the end. And you know, with the engine paint, it's going to hold up to the high temperatures and all the oils and gases that may end up back on this engine if this engine decides to spring a leak. Let's hope it doesn't. But they run about 200 to 300 degrees. We're rated at 500 degrees on this engine paint. So we're definitely covered there. And you're not going to have to worry about uh, chipping and flaking as well because we've, we scuffed it down. We put that primer and a good couple coats of paint. So uh, if you want to learn more about products like this and other products from Duplicolor, visit duplicolor.com. Oh yeah, don't forget, you can actually win this bike. So check out duplicolor.com and our socials to learn more about how to enter sweepstakes.